Development of the ZSU-23-4 Shilka began in 1957. The first prototype was completed in 1960. After extensive trials it entered service with the Soviet Army in 1962. Production of the ZSU-23-4 commenced in 1964. It was a very successful design that was built in large numbers. It was exported to a number of Soviet allies. Also this anti-aircraft system saw action during numerous wars. Despite its age, the Shilka is still in service with a number of countries worldwide. The ZSU-23-4 Shilka is armed with quad 23mm guns. It is a modified variant of the towed ZU-23 anti-aircraft gun. Vehicle has a rate of fire of 3-400 rounds per minute. It fires the same rounds as the ZU-23. The Shilka is fitted with target surveillance and tracking radar and simple fire control system. Its radar has a tracking range of 6 to 10 kilometers, depending on target's altitude. The baseline SPAAG had 30% chance of hitting an air target. The ZSU-23-4 was involved in a number of military conflicts. It appeared that vehicle is extremely effective against ground targets. Thin armor of the ZSU-23-4 provides only limited protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. It has been reported that sides of this vehicle can be penetrated by standard Soviet 7.62 by 39 mm rounds fired from assault rifle. Though front arc withstands this ammunition. Vehicle is fitted with NBC protection system. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, radar operator and driver. The Shilka has a track chassis and uses many automotive components of the SU-85 self-propelled artillery system. Vehicles produced until 1970 were fitted with a V6P diesel. Vehicles produced since 1970 are powered by improved V6P1 diesel engine, developing 280 HP. The ZSU-23-4 is also fitted with auxiliary power unit.